Over the years, I've taken a lot of commercial building products and commercial practices, and I've integrated those into the high-end residential houses that I build to get the best practices on my job site. On today's build show, I'm actually coming to you from a commercial job site. I'm gonna be introducing you to a brand new product in partnership with USG and Tremco called Secure Rock XOAir 430. On the build show today, I'm gonna to be talking about a commercial waterproofing, sheathing, and air barrier system that's brand new to the marketplace that I think is really gonna revolutionize things. Now, if you're a residential builder or architect, stay tuned, because I think there's some details on this that you're gonna find interesting and that you might apply to your residential buildings as well. But specifically, we're gonna be talking about a product that's in partnership with USG and Tremco called Secure Rock XOAir 430. Now, if you're not familiar with const commercial construction, check out this building behind me. You know, commercial jobs, typically, the structure is being done by both steel and concrete, not a lot of wood framing. Whereas the residential houses that I build, I'm usually sheathing them on the outside with something like Advantex sheathing or zip wall, and I'm doing that for sheer value, and I'm using that as a skin on the outside of the house that's gonna receive both the waterproofing and the air barrier. In the commercial world, this is the skin that's typically used right here. This is USG's Secure Rock. This is a gypsum board, 5 8 thick, and it has a fiberglass facer on the outside. Now, the reason why they're doing that is it's not gonna support mold growth on that fiberglass like a paper facer would. So this ends up being a sheathing that is a perfect spot as a substrate for the water and the air barrier in the outside. Now, in commercial buildings, they've moved typically from house wraps like we've used in residential for years and they're not using those a whole lot anymore in the commercial world they've really moved to more like peel and sticks and fluid applied and today we're talking about a product that's a marriage of both usg's secure rock gypsum board that sheathing that we just showed you a second ago and tremco's fluid applied so this sheet you see here that's kind of this light orange color this is actually that same green board that has Tremco's XOAir 430 fluid applied, factory done before it's even shipped to the job site. So this panel right here has a 22 mil thick facer on the outside. This is actually a membrane from Tremco in fluid applied that's been sprayed under perfect and pristine conditions at the factory. So each four by eight panel has a perfect membrane applied right from the factory. And then the commercial builder, once they sheathe the outside of the building with that, they've got the weather barrier, they've got the air barrier on there. All they have to do is detail all the penetrations, the screw joints or screw holes, pardon me, and all the joints. And then of course, things like windows and pipes and all that sort of thing. And here's how they do that. Big thanks to Ben from Tremco, my local rep who came out today and helped me build this mock-up so we could talk through the details and how it's done. But basically, if you look here, we've got two sheets here. We've got a couple of joints. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bead of Tremco's Dymonic 100, and we're gonna put that in all four corners of the window. This would be whether we've got wood framing or whether we've got metal framing. Then on the bottom and the top corners here, we're gonna take a football-shaped piece of that Tremco XOAir 110 AT, and we're gonna protect that corner. You're gonna see why that's necessary in a second here. But then next, we're gonna take a peel and stick on the bottom, we're gonna slice that so we can fold it in, and now you can see why that football is so important. It's gonna protect that corner. And then we're gonna work shingle fashion. So we first do the sill, then we're gonna do the two sides, and we're gonna finish up with the head. So now we've got a perfectly waterproof opening that's also gonna be airtight that we can install the window into. Now check this out. This is really easy from here. All we really need to do on this panel right here is detail the seams and the places where the screws have penetrated that fluid applied on the outside. Again, we're just using Dymonic 100, and you'll notice this is a special color that's been done on purpose. This kind of greenish color for the Dymonic is so that from a distance, we can tell the difference between what's panel and what's been done on the seams with the Dymonic. That's really for quality assurance, quality control reasons. Really from my truck pulling up to the job, whether I'm the architect or the contractor, from a distance I can see, has this been done correctly? I really like that about this system. And then if you move over to this display where we've got an inside and an outside corner, 
really pretty much the same process. On the inside corner, we're gonna make sure that we've got a release in there. You're either gonna use a, a bond breaker tape or you can actually use a crayon in that corner to make sure that the Tremco Dymonic 100 isn't adhering all the way into the corners. And then on the outside corner here, we've got a cut edge of the sheathing that we need to cover over. And that's where we're using that Dymonic 100. You're basically gonna zigzag that out and then you're gonna trowel over it. If you're not familiar with Dymonic 100, this is a low modulus urethane product, so it's got a lot of potential for movement, both positive and negative. And it's a very thick, heavy body product. It really feels like a commercial grade sealant. It's, it's not a watery or a thin product. It's got, some, it's got some weight to it. I really like that about it. And then the other thing that I wanna mention over here is look how this opening was done. Ben did a great job showing us how we could also use Dymonic 100 to form basically a fluid applied opening here. So we've, we've done all the sill, we've done the jams, we've detailed that on the outside edges. Everything's monolithic. So once this dries, we're ready for a window install. Now here's where things get a little different for somebody like me who's used to doing residential construction. This is a expansion joint. Depending on the building, the engineer is gonna spec this, and this is from movement of materials and the building, but you're gonna have potentially a sheathing joint or a gap in the sheathing that could be as little as a half inch to maybe one or two inches. And what we're using here is a silicon product that's got some stretchiness, some give to it, and then we're using Spectrum, which is also a silicon sealant, so that we can seal that to that joint. We can make sure it's both water and airtight but now it's gonna give that building some ability to move without breaking any joints or breaking the air or waterproofing on the outside. Very impressive system, guys. I think there's really three big reasons why you might consider using this for your projects. Number one, I think the, one of the biggest reasons for me is QCQA. You can tell the quality of everything right from the street. I love that the factory is applying this fluid applied Tremco XO Air 430 so that I don't worry about a millage gauge. I'm not worried about one applicator made it too thin or too thick. I also like that if you're in a market uh, where you maybe don't have a lot of commercial sealant contractors, you know that it's been done correctly and all you have to do is detail the seams. That's a big one. The other thing I really like about this system is it can be used, it can be used successively in some really cold weather. Let's say it's sleeting outside, or maybe it's just a super cold five or 10 degrees outside. You're sure as heck not gonna be spraying your air bear on the outside of the house. But if you're using this product, we can put our four by eight sheet panels up in any weather. It doesn't matter how cold it is out there. And all we have to do is detail the seams once it gets to around freezing temperature. Whereas if we're using a spray rig, we're spraying on our air barrier, it's typically gotta be 40 degrees and rising before we're gonna do that and we're really cautious about freezing hoses and all those other things, we eliminate all that with this product. And the last thing that I think is really gonna define this product compared to some other methods is cycle time. Think about this, once the sheathing gets installed, all we're doing is detailing the joints and boom, that building is waterproof and airtight. I think you could drop a ton of time off a commercial building schedule and of course, time is money. Guys, big thanks to my show sponsors, Tremco and USG. This is an impressive product and I think it's worth your looking at. Check out the link in the description below. They've got a microsite with some great information about this product. And of course, they've also got a great network of reps around the country if you've got some specific questions or want a demo like this out in your job site. Guys, follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.